Hi, I'm Scott. Today we're just going to talk through our new Core Pulse device. We're aiming to fit the Core Pulse backboard. Uh, imagine in this scenario someone's doing manual compressions. We've got the Core Pulse nurse ready to slide the backboard in underneath. The main consideration here and uh, the thing that generates a lot of questions is what side or orientation does the arm need to come up from? It doesn't really matter where it's coming up from, uh, whether the uh, arm is coming up from the pelvis or whether it's coming from over the shoulder. Once the board's been fitted, look directly down over the patient's shoulders and you should be able to see the top of the red portion of the board, just here, just above the shoulders. If it's too high, you'll see black and if you can't see the red, the board's too low. To fit the corpus arm to the backboard, you can see underneath here that the on switch is just below the main arm of the corpus. Position the arm straight over the board, twist the locking mechanism, and then lock it into position. We turn the corpus on from underneath and turn the screen on. It's here that we would set the settings that we want to run the CPR at. So the main ones that we will be changing will be our mode uh, and our rate of CPR. It defaults to 100, which is fine. Uh, if we were going to change the mode if our patient was intubated and we wanted to go to continuous CPR, you select the mode and then up to continuous and tick to confirm and then back and you can see that it says continuous CPR there. The depth of chest compression, the core pulse will change based on the anatomy of the person that we're uh, performing compressions on. And you can see in this portion of the screen here that there's a timer to let us know how long the arrest has run for. So at this point, manual CPR is still going. We need to fit the arm over the sternum so that we can take over manual compressions. So we lift the arm up and there's two ways that you can do this. You can either grab the arm and pull it up or you can come from the front with the heel of your hand and push the arm up. Once the arm is up, that lets us manoeuvre the arm however we would like. Swing the arm around, make sure you don't knock out your mate that's doing CPR and just position the, the core pulse above the hands of whoever is doing CPR and communicate with them that at the next pause, either for uh, a breath, if we're at 30 to two, or for a rhythm check, we're gonna lower the core pulse down over the sternum, they'll move away and the core pulse will take over compressions. So with one hand, hold the elbow uh, that you've positioned to make sure that it doesn't swing out of the way when you're lowering the core pulse. And with the other hand, place it over the top of the battery and you're gonna push down through the battery to lower the arm. If we push the arm too deep into the chest wall, we have a red light, which indicates that we can't start CPR. If it's too far off the chest wall, we'll have a yellow light, which indicates that it can't, the sensor can't sense the chest under here and we're not able to start compressions. So what we want to aim for is this green light. And once we've got that, we know that the stamp is at the right point on the chest. We lock the clamp, so open palm and down, and then we start CPR. The core pulse lights. Red means the compression arm is too low or deep and the device will not activate. Yellow, the compression arm is too high or shallow. Green, the device is ready to start compressions. You press the green button to start. Blue means the device is paused. Setting up the screen, it's paused for the two breaths in the 30 to 2 mode. To signal a breath in continuous mode or when manually paused during the rhythm or pulse check. So we've got the mode set on 32 at the moment. Uh, as we get closer up to our 30 compressions, you'll hear the machine beeping to indicate that we're about to receive a pause. We'll pause, the blue light indicates a pause for two breaths to be delivered and then we'll recommence CPR. If we're in a continuous mode of CPR, so if we're changing the mode up to continuous, we'll still receive those beeps and flashes of blue lights, but that will be to prompt whoever's managing the airway to deliver a breath whilst CPR continues. So once the core pulse has been popped onto the patient and we're happy with the positioning of the arm and that we're delivering an appropriate uh, 
rate of compressions, we need to secure the core pulse arm and the back wall to the patient, which is where this device comes in to play. So the arm comes up, we slide this in underneath and position it to match up with the arms of the backboard. These little magnetic straps come up and attach like so, and they come from each angle of the board. Once they're all connected, we can tighten the backboard. So what we want to do is opposites, tighten, opposites, tighten. And at this point now, we're happy that the board and the arm is secured to the chest. If we were to get to a rhythm check, the role of the core pulse nurse uh, within the coached algorithm is to pause the core pulse device uh, following the instructions from the defect nurse. And it's as simple as once we get to the hands-off component of coached, pressing our pause button. So if we're doing CPR all the way through coach, at the point where we normally take our hands off the chest and stop CPR, the core pulse nurse pauses compressions, stands away, the rhythm is managed however is appropriate, whether that's uh, delivering a shock or dumping it, the charge, and then they would step back in and recommence CPR. So setting up the core pulse CPR device, slide the backboard under during the rhythm or pulse check, fit the arm with the twist lock mechanism, turn it on, remember the button is underneath the arm, turn on the screen, you can adjust the mode to change it if need be. Unlock the arm by pushing the red handle with the heel of the hand, swing the core pulse into place, lower it with both hands until you get a green light, lock the red handle and then press the green button to start CPR. Secure the backboard with the clips and tighten it to hold in place.